So why did I get my PhD in chemistry? I've always loved chemistry. I've always had a scientific mind, observation, and then experimentation, and then coming up with a conclusion. And I used to just look around me and see how much chemistry there was. I, I saw these colors and it's like, why are they colored? Because I took these colors in nature, color the grass, color the sky, and then I started looking at the paint on the walls. And I immediately thought, who designs that paint and why is it that color? I started looking at these companies, Dow Chemical. I could work for them for 40 years. And it was really, really cool. That's when it kind of planted a seed in my mind, like I want to be a chemist. Now what's the next step? Once I got my undergraduate in chemistry, I had many people, including professors saying, Shane, you're really good at this. You should get your PhD. And it wasn't until I, I realized they were correct when I got to my career and I realized that having a PhD was not going to limit me. It was going to break through any potential glass ceiling that there was. So having a PhD in science is just like the cream of the crop and it's a necessary thing. People assume you're good and I love chemistry. That's the main reason I have it.